Welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 here on Autumn Oaks. How y'all doing everybody? Y'all doing alright? Oh, I'm doing this peachy myself, especially now. Y'all can hear me, right? I hope y'all can hear me. I want to give, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to a friend of mine, a special brother. Means a lot. He really helped me out every which way. Um, this time another. J Metal 797. I just want to say thank you, brother. He uh, told me to check my drivers and stuff on my microphone. Well, my mic don't have drivers. Okay. Sound card. Yeah, I got a sound card. It's working. It's working good. So, um, he told me all that and uh, he gave me an idea. Um, actually, while I was reading his comment idea popped in my head to uh, check OBS to delete it and reinstall it and J Metal thank you for the advice and stuff that led up to me uh, deleting that cause uh, OBS version 21.1.0 has bugs in it um, the updater will not update any. So any of y'all out there using that version, that's 21.1.0. Uh, please delete it off your computer and reinstall OBS so you can get the version 21.1.2. 21.1.2. Which, uh, if you look at it, it's this 2112. Um... That's the newest version of OBS. And also, um, I could not find the volume to my mic anywhere on anything and except for OBS. And I went under properties of the mic and it was there. Um, for some reason, I guess it didn't keep all the stuff from the last one. Because uh, I had to go in and make a few changes. It's supposed to have done everything. But, but anyway, uh, what was uh, going on is my microphone volume was at 100. Well, 100? Ain't that where it's supposed to be? Oh, uh, folks, mine's at 700 right now. And y'all should hear me pretty good. That probably needs to be down a little bit. Uh, I am still in the green, and every once in a while I'll peg the yellow. But I think that's where it might need to be. I'm not for sure. But anyway, uh, shout out to J Metal 797 uh, uh, He's the first one that commented to let me know that my mic volume was down low. Which I, I knew it was down some, because when I was doing my editing, it was uh, kind of low then, but I upped the volume in it, and uh, stupid me never did think about, you know, checking it when it got done rendering before I upload. But anyway, that's a shout out to J Metal 797 and I got another shout out to uh, Austin Prickett, Prickett, I believe how you pronounce it. I hope I ain't butchering that last name, because this guy is awesome. He helped me find this, folks. And what is this? It's a whirly bird. Around here in these parts, it, well, a lot of people might call them trenchers or ditch makers. Uh, all it does is run off PTO from your tractor. And this little blade down here throws dirt um, either to the left or to the right. I can't remember. I think it's to the right of the tractor. Uh, it's supposed to have like a little shield around it and a foot guard to keep it from going down in the ground too deep. But, of course, it's just a game, you know. But, uh, yeah, let's fire it up and so y'all can see it and see what it does. All right. But, uh, Mr. Olsen, appreciate you uh, helping me with this. And, uh, folks, there it is. That's all it does is spin. It looks like it's going backwards sometimes, but it's just because it's going so fast. This thing runs a um, thousand RPMs a minute. 
and that's when your tractor is like at 1500 but uh what it does it drains when you uh you kind of look out across the field and you find your your low spots you see how that kind of goes uphill there and that goes uphill but right here in the center is like a little valley right there All right, you just go, well, I need to put my hood down and hop out, do this. That way you don't see all that rain and stuff. And I can't plant. I don't know if you can plant with the moisture being up or not, so uh, I'm not even going to try it. But anyway, this does destroy some of the crops, but you just put it in the ground. And you try to find your lowest spots. And you see right there, and then in real life, that would be a trench down through there. But just, just kind of follow the row spots. And I know this kind of going uphill a little bit, but I'm just going to say we're going to drive right across here. Water's going to flow this away. Now, I do have crop destruction on, but, and, and watch this, folks. I can, right now it's like a cultivator, but if I hit uh, LB and Y, like on a plow, just watch what happens when I get up here. Alright, I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna go. There's a little trench right here. But well, watch this. Watch it, watch it. Looky there. Oh, well, you can't tell it for some of the grass, but yeah, it makes uh it plows fields. Well it don't plow fields, but if all that uh alfalfa went there you see it would be like a trench. But you can tell it right there a little bit. I, I love this thing, folks. And once again, Austin, thank you so much, sir, for finding this for me. And like, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, a lot of folks just, uh, they go across their fields a little bit. When they think, when they find a, a, a hole or something, they'll do it and make a, a thing to, towards a ditch. And, uh, it just all it does is drain the water off the field but uh we're gonna be using this uh but right now i'm gonna try to fast forward time so we can start planting um i've been cutting some wood and i'm actually coming out of the hole just by cutting wood um i don't know if the great demand is still on or not um no the workshop ain't blinking uh, yesterday was a great demand for that uh, fast forward time. Oh, I got half a pallet of wool. And I want to make a right right here. Uh, I guess I better slow down. Almost to a stop anyway. Um, this front half, I thought I had wheat on this whole field. But um, come find out. I planted grass down here on this far end, so we have some for a sheep later on. Well, I don't think it's growing, folks. I don't think it's going to grow. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. There's nothing here yet, and let me hop out. Oh, I'll say. And you can see right here, it pops up bottom right corner, wheat, 28% growing. Over here, it don't pop up nothing. And we, we planted this whole section here in grass. And, uh, yeah. I'll fast forward time just a little bit more here. So, I don't know what to do on that. I really don't. There's going to be a big chunk of fill not planted. I think it might be alright. I hope I can squeeze through here while I hit these stupid trees They're all over the place. And this would be a good, you can see that valley right there. 
Now, as long as the plants are in this stage, it won't hurt nothing driving across them. But I don't know about the second stage, but I do know the third stage, it will destroy the crops. All right, turn our PTO on. Uh, your sheep need water. Okay. I'm just going to put another one in right here. I just wonder. Uh, still showing the same design. Now, I, I wish that this would make like a plow mark instead of like. Uh, well, it might make a plow mark. It might be a plow mark. I forgot this got a different texture on this mount. But I noticed a lot of farmers, there's, they just run water furs all over the field. They'd be going this way, be going that way. And you only post to run them where you need them, just to help the water. And I noticed a few farmers, well I say farmers, they're farmed hands. Will be a, they'll see a mud hole, they'll drive right through it. And won't even think twice, but you just look. You see right there, there's a sunk in spot. But over here it's high. And over there it's high. All the way around this little spot right there. Oh, for corn, but we don't have no corn. Oh, oh crap, crap, crap. Stop time, stop time. Okay, we get we gotta get busy planting. But anyway, you see this little hole right here to my right. There's nothing you can do about that. That's just a low spot. Um, turn that off so I can go faster. There's our buggy over there, our seed and fertilize. Um, but I do have a couple of things to show y'all. Um, I gotta get this tractor down here real quick. Um, I don't know what all kind of GPS routes I got. Folks, I would love to have that right there. To be able to buy that so we can work those strips right there. Alfalfa and some crops. Oh, who all got upset with me last time with the, the thumbnail of the cows? I wish those was our cows. They have like two different farms of dairy. Or one be beef and the other be uh, dairy. Now, uh, what's this? What happened here? Folks, I went in GE and went ahead and done that road I was talking about. Had cleared the trees and bushes out, but it just opens the place up. Look at all these chickens. I gotta be careful. I don't want to run over none. Oh, okay, that chicken just went through that tire. Y'all see that? But uh, I did set up our chicken coop thing so we can uh, get better eggs or breed them. And I had to go to the market and buy some grain, folks. I think I bought some wheat. I think it's what's in that trailer right there. I gotta hurry up and get that out so I can get some wood again. Um, okay. I got plenty of water. Our sheep needs water, though. Um, let's go over here and... Somebody's wanting to know how to get the eggs out of this. You just push down on your right stick and boom, they're out of there. They're into your inventory. Uh, we got 30 chickens. In order for me to breed chickens, I got to bring straw up here. But I don't have no straw right now. I don't want to buy none right now. So we're just laying eggs in the basket. And, um... With the dealership for this, because we got a sign right here where we can buy and sell. But I put a thing up in town, way across there on the other side of the map, uh, a dealership where we can uh, go sell our chickens and eggs at. Right. Whoa, 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 almost got you. Y'all watch out. Uh, this tractor's got to be run down to her sheet, but I'm going to get her planters going first. 
Need to get off here running the house. Get me a glass of tea. Fix me a lunch. I should have fixed me a lunch before I got started. We got a long day. Got our planters back here. We got them all filled up. Uh, I got the truck and this. Well, y'all seen this last time, but I put this is our last back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Went too closer. Uh, that is. Oh, I thought our tail light there was messed up. That's what it's supposed to be. Last bag of fertilizer, or crate, I should say. And we are uh, planting soybeans now. I thought I had these streaks of soybeans. I don't know what made that sound. Um, soybeans. And we do have a lot of soybeans to go to, folks. All right, that's uh. We're gonna get out of here and uh, there's some long roads right here that we can make. GPS back up. Uh, yeah, there we go. I forgot how small this thing is. Okay, auto is still there. Let's go ahead and go up here and turn around. Make sure ain't no car coming. And nobody's coming. And let's see. No, I don't think I want that. Oh, come on now. Let's get on. There you go. Get that right there. I think that's the one we need. What do y'all think, folks? And I want to go over just a little bit more about right there. And I think we're good to go. Soybeans on. Here we go, folks. Okay. And we're off to see the magical bean wizard. All right, gonna hire a worker. And please be just right on the money. Close enough for me. That is close enough for me. All right. Sorry. 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 Who we got there? J. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, J Metal 797. Gonna be driving her a good tractor. We gotta get this in here going. A new Highland 8340. Um. I also say, where where did J Metal go? Well, there he is. I hope you take the long rows there, Mister. Oh, put my lid down. And get dust in here. I see soybeans is what we plant. Yep. And we're gonna try to go across this end right here a couple of times. Before J Metal gets back down here. There's enough to keep him off the other guy's field. But, um, yeah, I made enough money on the wood to, uh, get the chicken coop. I was pricing some fields and stuff, but uh, oh, I can't even think what it's called. Field number four area. Whoa, that thing turns fast. I was gonna go buy it, but they want a lot of money for that field. Um, but after this harvest, we should be able to afford it. 
and I'll give us a couple more fields. That's uh, the green one down below, uh, but between 14 and the green one there. Uh, you can see right there, you got a fuel symbol down. Um, I don't know. Why we quit planting? A valley or something there? Yeah, some kind of valley or something there. Huh. I'll go ahead and go across and get this. Make a circle here. I'll find out which way J turns and then I'm going to get this in on the same course. Hopefully he turned back towards my left. Let's go down here and see real quick. Yes, he's coming back up on the right side there. Uh, yeah, up here on the right side. This side right here. So that's good. I need to do uh, a couple more rounds across. Turn our planter back on. Across the road again, or not cross the road, but cross this here. Just add one more touch to it. Man, it's already 22 minutes after. Where has the time gone? I still got water to sheep. But I figured there's a lot of planting to do. Uh, my do this episode and another episode of planting and uh I can't do too much planting off screen because if I do that folks it's just you know it's part of it it's going to take a while to plant especially these small planters that would be plenty of room for him to turn around this end. now I'm scared to watch because he does that scary turnaround that he does when he backs up and something about that planter but uh while he's turning around I'm gonna go ahead and get in here and see if I can awesome I'll stop it just a little bit there so I can what mess up ah uh, really pick up Back up and get over. Okay. Hopefully he's done turning around because I don't want to see that. See, he's, he's done. Okay. And he's going to miss little skips like that. I guess there ain't nothing I can do. Uh, probably won't even worry about them because we got so much ground to plant. As long as they don't get no bigger than that, I can probably live with it. Alright, lift up planter. Got back up. But this planter here is kind of like something like how farm works would use that's one of my favorite uh, YouTube shows it's not my favorite youtuber but it's one of my favorite shows all right this might go pretty fast if he stays on the streets and uh, might stay doing the ends and the small things Now when he gets back, I'm going to copy a GPS course. Uh, I know we are not the same width and stuff, but uh, we'll be on the same track anyway. And I don't really have to do this area here. Just 
But uh, yeah, what do y'all think about this back here? That's going to be where we park most of our equipment. Um, we'll park some on the edges over there and then uh, just throughout here. Uh, a lot of stuff won't go in the sheds because we don't have a shed room like we do on some of the other maps. But uh, we'll put our tractors and stuff in the sheds, but our equipment stuff set outside. Trying to get this right here squared up. And that way he'll turn around the ends pretty good. I might need to go down and get the other end, but I'm waiting on him. I guess I can dry, do a drive-by. Oh, I shouldn't say that on YouTube. Shame on me. Uh, yeah, I know my sheep needs water. Uh, going to do that here in just a second. I'm going to hire somebody for this tractor here. Nah, guess I need to get it set up. Uh, there we go. Now I'll just do the uh, auto link there. And then when I come over, oh yeah, I'm going to have to do across these ends with Hopefully, there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna get this set up real quick. Oh man, back that way. There we go. Maybe that'll help. Oh yeah, and set it about right there on lower. Get straightened up and hire worker. And we got Jonathan. All right, Jonathan and Jay Metal. It's going back up here. We're going to get the other tractor and uh, I'm going to finish. Uh, I'm going to go give the what I do with I'm going to give the sheep some water and then I'm going to. Watch the guys plant and while I run the water for a rig. And I uh, probably won't do too many because I got thinking. I don't think it will hurt the combines, but you know, if you run a, a straight line, uh, why is this road is, I know the combines will stop on that. But uh, if you run that water for a rig, I think the thing's so small that it won't recognize the break in the field. Because usually a, a straight line break, like what a planter misses, will cause the combine to turn around. Wish this had a hitch on the back. Hey, wait a minute. That cedar, not, not cedar, but that seed card up there does have a hitch. Well, I think I'm going to leave this at the sheep. No, the sheep's got one. What am I doing? Uh, this has to be filled up. I think that's where I filled up at. Let's let's go on down to the sheeps anyway. I don't know what I was thinking. They got a big one down there. Oh my God! What's the top doing off of that? I hope it didn't rain in that. Uh. Oh yeah, I cleared some of these trees out too. If I had to do that through GE. Our wheat start looking pretty good across there. What about turn my lights on? I don't even have my lights on. Nothing coming. I did put a, a hay bind uh, mower in the game from Farm Sim or Farm Steve or the one I got the kind of bind from. I, I get those two mixed up. There's one that's Stevie, and then there's a Farm Sim Steve. And Farm Sim Steve is one that gave me the, the mod to the combines and the hay bind rate. So. And, uh, I need to do something with them. I don't want to leave them out in the weather. But, uh, yeah, see right there's a... 
Oh yeah, fill up over there, that's right. Uh, might well just go ahead and use this one since I got it hooked up. Ah! Push me out of the way, why don't you? But, um... Ooh, our sheep's kind of dirty. You need to clean them while we're up here, too. Well, we're 30 minutes in, though, folks. Uh, been trying to keep from having long episodes, but, uh... I've been... Ooh, there we go. Didn't take much. Let's go ahead and look at them real quick. Yeah, the uh, need some cleaning. Grass is still good. Uh, we're at 27 sheeps. Um, did I? I think I was at 10 last time, uh, last episode. Uh, I bought some. I don't think I, I forgot to tell you. I'm sorry. Whoa, I got to turn my speed down. But, uh, yeah, let's clean them up before we go. Now, on some maps, um, I was watching the squad the other day, and I noticed they was having some problems picking up their grass and stuff from their bunkers on the Upper Mississippi River Valley. Uh, we quit playing that map because of lag issues and loading issues. But uh, this grass, as long as it's there in the summer, I say it's not going to do this. On no creek farms, I can put it back in the trough. Well, on this one, I can't. So, certain maps, for those that out there plays the maps, uh, check, check it. Because, uh, you know, you might be able to put some of that back in and save some grass. We're at 49% on our first wool pallet. So, hopefully. That will be going here pretty soon. Um, I gotta go over here, get this filled up, and get it back down to uh, the chickens, cause we got a big water trailer right there for. Uh, I want to go in and move the trigger over, but then that'd be unreal. And that way I can just uh, leave that trailer set there, back up to it, and fill up the sheep's. But nah, I'll, I'll leave it like it is. Yeah, here's our water trigger I put. I wish there's uh, more uh, grass or alfalfa, I should say, on this map. Let's go over and check her. All right, J Metal 797 still going strong. That's awesome. And Jonathan's still going strong. All right. But yeah, uh, on the farm, uh, one of the older bosses, he would just sit in a tractor. And, and every time we uh, <laughs> made a pass with a planter or something, he'd move 10 feet. But yeah, see, there's a spot going across there that's kind of low. I think on this map, when this probably won't be a good investment, but you know, we can always have one around on the farm. But um, no creek farms is one that's got a lot of valleys and stuff in it, and that'd be perfect. Just drive down the valleys. But, uh, yeah, we're going to park some equipment right here on the end as we get more equipment. And, uh, this tractor is slow. I want to like one of my wheels quit turning, but it's turning. It's going too fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't hit a hoe in the barn. Okay, we're going to. Oh, as far as they'll let me back up. Can I detach right there? Oh, yeah, there we go. 
And uh, back in the day, this is what we used to set our equipment on to keep it from going in the ground. Um, it should have legs. Needs legs on the front because I don't think that would stand up like that. But anyway, it's an awesome, awesome mod. I love it. And once again, Austin Prickett. Prickett. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, thank you once again. I love it. I can't wait to use it on No Creek. But I figured I'd go ahead and give a shout out to you uh, for uh, helping me find that. And again, shout out to J Metal 797 for the microphone issues. And uh, I hope I got it fixed. Can't wait to edit and see what we got. And to all my family members out there, I am sorry for the bad couple of videos with uh, having turning hearing aids and everything else up. Now we got 18,659 liters of wheat left. Uh, I don't know where to put this. Um, I need it like a small silo, but. There ain't nothing around here to put it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait. I'm going to shut this off. Go over here and check them again. And another thing, folks. Uh, if uh, You see where I go? I got eggs from the... I can't get in there. I'm too fast. Uh, slow my speed down. Now, let's try this. That's one reason I put the chicken coop out there. I, I shouldn't have no more eggs in here after that. Um, I'll show you why. They all should be. Come on now. Start going in this bucket. Because uh, you can see lay eggs in the basket. They'll go in this basket from now on. And yeah, they need some more uh, wheat. That'll be good for a little bit. But yeah, all the eggs will go in this basket here, but it'll charge uh, 3% of what an egg value is worth or something like that. So uh, I'd rather come here to get them than have to fight getting through this. So if you're a uh, standard egg land, they'll be in here. If you want somebody to pay to pick them up, they'll be in here. So uh, yeah. All right, I gotta get checking on my guys. Jonathan should be just about done, and get where we can see it. Top left up there, folks. Uh, seventy-four, eighty-six, fifty-seven, and sixty-six is a percentage on the uh, the seeds and stuff. So the top one should be the small planter. Yeah, the New Holland. It'd be one I have to watch for first, being out of seeds. Um, but um, once again, like at last episode, I am waiting for this thing here to run out of seeds. And it will be going back to the marketplace. Uh, we don't need it no more. We're going to start using that red one down the road there. Man. Nah. J Metal doing a fine job. Fixing me in some short rows here. Yeah. Oh, turn those beacons off. I'll do that here in a minute. I knew he'd be stopped. Let's see. Look like he went all the way down, so we'll check on that end here in a minute. I want to go across this end. Oh, we still got some seeds and stuff in us. Trying to touch up some of these bad spots. You can see right there the how big sometimes he can leave some. Okay, okay. Uh, 
Now this back here is where I'm going to hate. This loop back here is going to be something else. I'll go ahead and hire a worker. We got Donna. All right, Donna. I need one more planner. I really do. Uh, oh, crap. I'm 40 minutes in. All right, folks. We're going to have to get off here. Uh, once again, uh, J Metal 797 Austin Prickett. Uh, thank y'all for the help and stuff. I, I love this mod right here, folks. I really do. There's nothing too much to it but I just I just like it I love using one of these but anyway y'all have a awesome mm, now nah, this be a Thursday won't it anyway y'all have an awesome weekend folks it's coming up and appreciate all the love and support there they are or at least J Metal uh, but yeah, I just appreciate all the love and support and comments and everything. And I hope y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And folks, we'll see you later. I'm going to finish this fill up and I'll see y'all next episode.